Time for another in our irregular series, Teach Tuesday. These are little tidbits I like to offer to those of you who teach this bicycle mechanic stuff. You might be service managers, teachers in a school, heck, even parents are known to teach a thing now and then. Today, we're gonna to talk about stress and how to show it. Not screaming, not that kind of stress. We're gonna talk about stress in the drivetrain and what we can deduce from it. Begin by getting a bike like this one. Bring that on over here. What we're gonna do is feel the chain tension, up and down, top section and bottom section, side to side as well. There's a not a lot going on there. Even with the clutch derailleur, this feels more like cooked pasta than it does a tight spoke. Now we're gonna simulate riding. Lock the front brake and push on the pedals. Now let's check again. Check the top, tight, oh, yeah. Check the lower section, still stress-free. Well, the stress of riding is between the top of the rear sprockets and the top of the front sprockets. How is it we're even able to shift the gears? The guide pulley is shoving the relaxed section of chain from sprocket to sprocket. The question is, what kind of stress then can there be on the rear hanger when we ride? Almost none. But we know hangers get bent. What is it that can bend rear hangers? Impact! <laughs> Crashing, smashing, things hitting you, you hitting things, those are the types of things that can bend a rear hanger. Not the plain old stress of riding. We haven't even gotten to the front derailleur. But I think for this Teach Tuesday, we've squeezed enough learning juice out of the teaching rock. The point of Teach Tuesday is to better understand things so you can explain them. Understanding the stress in the drivetrain will help you with stress management. That's enough for now. We'll catch you next time on Teach Tuesday. And for now, relax. Impact! Oh, Rocky.